All right, trying to knock another one out the way. Um, this I picked up at the uh, Dayton Hamvention. I believe I paid a whopping ten dollars for it. If I remember right, it didn't have tubes in it, but um, I've got a bunch of um, 6LF6 and family type tubes, so um, I put some uh, good 6KD6 tubes in this, which is the, um, um, you know, close cousin of the um, 6LF6, a good substitute. Um, this has one driving three, and this is a Crusader 300 and I've never played with this before I had this exact model but you know once I opened it up and got inside of it I found that basically this is a um, Palomar Skipper 300 clone you know I have no clue if Palomar had anything to do with it at all or you know if it came from their line and they you know, switched it around and stuff to get past the FCC. Um, don't know, but, you know, um, pretty much the same transformer and extremely similar layout. Except, you know, it's in a big case and the um, tubes and everything is mounted on a big um, PC board. I don't like that. And there's no access to that board underneath so that makes it very tough to work on but preamp doesn't work on this and I didn't feel like taking that board apart and loose to get under there to um, try to figure out what's going on with it but because everything else worked there's your driver tube with the L circuit uh, L tank circuit there which is basically one tuner and your uh, plate choke and then over here you got the three finals and this does have a Pi L instead of a regular Pi circuit uh, Pi L just adds an extra coil on the um, output side so you got that one there is the main coil and then if you um, zoom I'm going to zoom in underneath that's the uh, L coil the second coil there so it uses a Pi L you know it's got bleeder resistors in it uses a voltage doubler and those are the two um, electrolytic caps I used in it um, over here it's got just two relays your regular antenna relay and your preamp relay but again the preamp doesn't work on it and your key in circuit and your preamp circuit your low voltage stuff um, this does not have a tuned input does have a fan in the corner and it looks like the same transformer that the uh, skipper 300 uses and like I say other than the layout and you know the board use if I made a schematic of it or if you looked at a schematic of a um, skipper 300 you can kind of figure out what's going on with this one it's like somebody copied it or cloned it and you know maybe tweaked it here and there but not much but basically uh skipper 300 dressed up a little bit I do like the looks of it the lights the big lighted meter but you know nothing special grounded grid a little bit of bias going on and uh, that's it basic grounded grid amp one driving three using six LF six sweep tubes so I guess everything's out the way we're gonna turn it on and let it warm up safely it runs about 800 volts on the plate old open frame type fan you know nothing spectacular nothing special about it not a modulator type amp basic grounded grid amp uh, we're gonna hit it with our normal mud duck radio just in a couple watts <laughs> and on the front while it's warming up we got the main power switch um, standby operate high low AM, FM, CW, SSB. All that does is add a delay to the relay. And your preamp switch. 
and again the preamp does not work on this one and you got um basically uh, tune and load here for the finals and drive is not you know a uh, variable for the power on a lot of amps I do see drive and a lot of people think it's a um, you know a variable like drive power or input power or something like that no on most amps that I see not all but most the drive on this one is the driver tuning so if you mistune that drive um, you know to tune it down to get less watts out of it you're killing that driver too because if you key down a, um, a amp you got power going into it if you don't tune it up for maximum output you're you're killing the amp or whatever uh, tube or stage you tune down you're hurting it so tune for maximum smoke if it's doing too much you know get a dial a watt you know in your radio and tune your radio down um, unless an amp has a variable specifically to tune it down which this drive is not again it's the um, output tuner for that tube there that variable cap right there don't want to tune that down you tune that down you're gonna kill your uh, one drive and two run driver two so that's pretty much it should be nice and hot now nice and juicy so um, I'm gonna put it on standby and mud duck radio on average only doing a watt and a half reaching the watt meter radio actually does more but it's a lot of junk in line like that JB76 couple switch boxes uh, this amp um, preamp over there the um, digital watt meters on the input side all that's in line in the watt meter and then a dummy load so it's a lot in line that's why it's losing those watts because it's going through so many items um, so that's what we're putting into it we're gonna go to the 2000 watt scale and we're just gonna go on high and low it does about half but we're not even gonna go through all that we're gonna just put it on high hopefully it's still tuned up 2000 watt scale now and it's dead keen about 240 whistling a little bit under four like maybe 375 audio audio talking a little under three and that's average which I guess would I would expect a Crusader 300 to do and for me um, about a hundred watts out of each sweep tube is about right you know without killing it or overdriving it and doing all kind of crazy stuff I see people say they are getting you know four or five hundred watts out of each sweep tube um, yeah, yeah okay I don't know what kind of watts you got or you know mismatch or false reading or watt meter but um okay you say so and last on peak Audio, audio, talking just under 500. <whistles> Listening to about the same thing. Audio, 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 audio. So that's going to be it on this um, Crusader 300. One driving three using uh, six LF6 family tubes. Basically, the um, the um, clone or cousin of the um, Skipper 300 by Palomar. Again, I have no I idea if Palomar made this or it came from a factory or somebody cloned it. But whoever or however, basically somebody copied a um, old school uh, Palomar 1 Driving 3 Skipper 300. And I think they prettied it up a little bit because I do like the looks of it. Um, Alright, that's it for this uh, Crusader 300. Bye.